to my channel my name is Janika I hope everyone's day is going extremely well mine is so today we got our everything shower routine y'all I have to get it all done oral care skincare body care feminine care nail care hair care everything but I'm back after like a month break and I got some new braids do y'all like my braids I hope so anyway Moving on to oral care, this is the $3 electric toothbrush out that I got from Timu. I will include the link down below for it and the video that I did last month showing y'all all the things that I got from Timu. But yes, this electric toothbrush was only $3 and it's been working for me well for this past month. I've had no issues. And then after brushing my teeth, I'm gonna move on to my TheraBreath mouthwash. I really, really love this mouthwash. It's either TheraBreath or Listerine for me. And this time I'm just using TheraBreath. This is something new that I got. It's a tongue scraper that I found while moseying along through Target. I think this is really great for tongue scraping because I drink coffee every morning and of course, coffee stains every part of your mouth your teeth your tongue everything and i think the tongue scraper really helps get the coffee off your tongue moving on to hair care these are the products that i'm using to take care of my knotless braids i got dry shampoo mousse oil from miel and then <laughs> leave-in conditioner so one thing about me i hate spraying things on me it just it's too cold i don't like being cold it makes me so uncomfortable but it says to spray the dry shampoo on your scalp and massage it in your scalp and my body is so sensitive my scalp and my back like if you touch that i'm just like in heaven okay so i give me a nice little scalp massage with the dry shampoo and then i move on to this meal leave-in conditioner to help some of the curls that are in my hair. After that, I'ma just swing it on, dance, you know what I'm saying, put myself in a great mood. And then next comes the mousse. I use the mousse to also put on my scalp and work down to the ends of my braids to keep my curls looking all cute. And of course, like my scalp, baby, that's my love language. You wanna find a quick way to my heart, baby, massage my scalp. That's all I need. But after the mousse, I'm going to move on to this Miel Oil. Y'all, TikTok put me on to that Miel Oil. And when I say my edges, my hair has been growing exponentially because of that and some grapeseed oil. Chef's kiss. Love it. So before we get into the shower, I'm going to put my braids into a ponytail bun so I can get it on out my face and out the way and we about to make our way, okay, deep breath, baby. We about to make our way into the shower. That eucalyptus plant is also new. I got that from Amazon. Eucalyptus smells so freaking good. It smells fresh. It makes you feel fresh when you're smelling it. And these are all the products that I'm using in the shower. But we're gonna start off with my facial cleanser. So yes, I go ahead and do my facial cleanser while in the shower because it just speeds up the process and I like to go ahead and wash my face in the morning first thing. Also, moving on down to the neck, do not forget the neck. You will see in this video, I don't forget my neck at all. So after cleansing my face with the facial cleanser, I'm going to move on and exfoliate with this Tree Hut Tropic Glow Exfoliating because y'all, it is time for me to shave. I don't grow hair on my arms or my legs, but I do grow hair under my arms and in my bikini area. So 
I'm gonna go ahead and exfoliate, give my body a nice little massage. I wanna go ahead and just exfoliate my entire body down. I love exfoliating y'all because y'all can see like it literally makes your skin glow. When exfoliating, make sure you take care of the bottoms of your feet. Make sure you go down to your legs. I don't know who told y'all, because I've been hearing about it, and I mentioned this before, take care of your legs in the shower. Don't just let the water drip down, okay? Exfoliate, wash, cleanse, everything. Take care of your legs, take care of your feet, take care of the bottoms of your feet. We're gonna wash the exfoliating off, and we're gonna move on to shaving. So. I'm using this EOS shave cream and this razor that I got on sale at Target. And I'm gonna start by shaving my pits, okay? I don't know if I would recommend this razor that I got. I will link it down below, but I don't know if I recommend it because you have to shave like so many times for it to finally get the hair off. But anyway, moving on to my body wash, I'm mixing this Dr. Bronner's Peppermint Soap and this Saltair Santal Bloom. When I tell y'all, oh my gosh, first of all, I think everyone needs the Dr. Bronner's Peppermint Soap. That's, a, that's, that's first, okay? Use that as your base. But then when you add a scented body wash like that Santal Bloom, baby, it just brings the smell out even more. It when I tell you opens up your sinuses, opens up your senses, that Dr. Bronner's paired with any type of scented body wash, baby, you in the dough, okay? So wash the top part, then we move it on down to our legs. Y'all, I'm not playing with y'all. Do not let the water just run down to your legs. Get you some soap, and I mean scrub your legs okay scrub your feet and we're gonna do our rotisserie chicken spin and get that soap right on off now to add an extra layer of moisture on our skin we're gonna use this olay body conditioner and our olay bar soap because we just shaved we want to make sure we're taking care and moisturizing our skin even more as much as we possibly can so i'm gonna go in and just put a layer of this all over my body before getting out of the shower Next, we're moving on to our skincare and facial care. And yes, these are all the products that I use, but no, I don't think everyone needs all of these products. These are just what works for my skin and what my skin just be eating up, okay? Eating up like Sunday dinner. First, I'm going with my Paula's Choice Toner. This toner is so good on my skin because it gives it that glow, that, oh girl, that glassy skin that I love to see on my face. Next, I'm going to move on to my Neutrogena Serum. This is a hydrating serum. Also brings in the plumpness for your face. It gives you that glassy, oh girl, your skin looks good, okay? And then we're gonna move on to my moisturizer absolutely recommend you use a moisturizer 110 percent i'm on my cycle unfortunately so my skin is kind of breaking out so just never mind that little acne okay on my cheek but after moisturizing i move on to my vitamin e oil i see a lot of you all tell me that the sunscreen should be the last step in your skincare routine and so i'm gonna take y'all advice so i'm gonna put my vitamin e oil on first and then i'm gonna use this super goop sunscreen i love this clear unseen sunscreen from Supergoop because it doesn't leave that white cast or gives your skin that purple tint it just goes on like clear i don't have any issues with it and it works amazing also you guys what i want to tell you if you have a job like i do i have an hsa account if you have an hsa account you can get sunscreen for quote unquote free. I would advise you all to look into that. It's a lot of products you can get for free with your HSA account, even on Amazon. Look into that. So now we're gonna move on into our feminine care. And of course, 
we do the witch hazel you all know that trick and then because we shaved i'm going to go in with my ingrown hair serum that i got from european wax center under my arms in my bikini area since that's where i shaved and then to top it all off i'm gonna go in with my feminine mist and like y'all i hate spraying stuff on my skin so i gotta be a little extra and now we're gonna move on to our body care okay so i'm gonna use my eos vanilla cashmere body lotion and my osea body oil and when i tell y'all my skin is sensitive but clearly i'm hard-headed and i just don't care about it enough okay because i've been putting all type of scents on my body because it just smells so good okay i love things that smell amazing and mixing that lotion in that body oil together and putting it on my skin and watching my skin just eat it up baby oh okay it makes my heart just flutter with happiness i love it now we're gonna move on to deodorants i use dub aluminum free deodorant and i'm gonna also go in with my dub spray deodorant because it's supposed to stop the white marks from possibly happening when I wear black clothes, I got a black shirt on and I just don't want the deodorant marks on my shirt. So as I finish my top half, I'm going to move it on down to my legs. Y'all, I love my legs, okay? So I take good care of my legs. I try to, at least. But I'm using the same, my lotion, my vanilla cashmere lotion, and my Osea body oil. And for my feet, I'm going to put on my Vaseline or petroleum jelly. And after massaging the Vaseline into my feet, making sure it's all soft and smooth and feeling good, I'm going to put my socks on so I can try to lock in that moisture on my feet. Now, we are almost done, but before I leave from the bathroom, I got to lay these edges, okay? Because, you know, your girls sleep a little rough, and before I get my day started, I want to just go ahead and lay my edges down this is some edge control that i got from amazon i'll also link it down below i love this edge control i haven't heard of it before but it has so many great reviews and it's been doing well for me okay and i think i'm gonna rock the ponytail again today i'm really loving this high pony that i be giving and since i got the curls in i'm just gonna pull one of the curls out for that little one piece swoop do wop in the front okay and also, I use the edge control to lay my brows or like pluck them up to make them look a lot better. I've been looking for a good brow gel so I don't have to put edge control on my brows all the time. So if you all have any suggestions for a great brow gel, please let me know. And before I move on, I'm just like, dang, girl, you are so pretty. You know what I'm saying? I got to look at myself and admire myself in the mirror. If y'all don't do that, I advise y'all to start. Ending this all off eventually, it's time for some nail care. So this is the cuticle oil that I also got from Amazon, just like we at the nail shop. I'm about tired of my nubs, and I think next week I'm going to start getting my nails done again, but we'll see. But anyway, after you put your cuticle oil on and you massage it into your hands, wash your hands, of course, for about 30 seconds. And then you put some lotion on and your hands is going to be feeling and looking all good and smooth. And that's all I have for you all today in my everything shower routine. Thank you all so, so much for watching, especially if you made it all the way to the end. Please be sure you take care of yourself and showering daily is a form of self-care. I hope you all enjoyed this video and I will see you all next time.